I'm Scott Euknes for Climate Impact Company. What's the winter outlook for Europe and Western Russia? Well, right now we have very warm temperatures in the oceans to the north of Europe across the Norwegian Sea, and that's important. That pattern is likely to continue through the winter season. Due to the Gulf Stream surging warm water related to the Atlantic multi-decadal oscillation, that pattern is not likely to change through this upcoming winter. So the polar ice cap is not likely to expand into the Norwegian Sea. That warmer than normal ocean temperature will be reflected in the upper atmosphere. High pressure ridging is likely to form, and that will lead to a blocking pattern, which will put Europe and Western Russia into a cold upper trough, leading to some snowfall and eventually some Arctic air. So let's try to time it out for you. In December, we expect that pattern to slowly evolve. Temperatures will start to turn colder than normal on a consistent basis in Central and Eastern Europe, mid to late December, also included Western Russia. During that cold transition, snow cover will evolve. And once it does evolve, it's likely to stay on the ground Following that transition, Arctic air will appear midwinter. January looks very cold across Central and Eastern Europe to the Ukraine and Western Russia. We don't see any way to dislodge this pattern once it's established in midwinter. So February will be equally as cold, very cold across Central Europe and Western Russia to close the winter season.